What up, Prof Leaders? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to bring you a little update on what happened this weekend while I was browsing the city of Georgetown. And that's because I had one of those experiences that I hoped I would not never have again, but I learned a lot from it. I got robbed by cell phone bandits. A couple of guys walking on Hatfield Street came up to me, grabbed my cell phone and took off running. And this was about 7 p.m. in the evening. And I did, in fact, automatically what I would do. I took off, gave them chase, and ran behind them. And eventually what happened is that uh, they split up, went separate ways, and one of them hopped the fence and disappeared into the night. I went on to report the matter to the police uh, in Al Al uh, Albert Town and then eventually tracked my phone to a location in All Boys Town. This is the ghetto of Georgetown. And so what I discovered is that there are a number of people who are actually not benefiting from this massive growth in the Guyanese economy. These are people who are still stuck in abject poverty, living in the ghettos in this society. And so what I want to do um, as a result of this experience is to start a new project where I'm specifically going to help um, find jobs, opportunities, housing for people living in the ghettos in Guyana. And this is one of the areas the government of Guyana is not yet addressing, they're not dealing with, and it's probably far off of their plate. In other words, it's not one of those things that is high on their priority. They're right now just um, trying to pump up their supporters and the business community. But there's a lot of people in Guyana who are not yet seeing the benefits of oil and gas. And for that reason, I'm going to launch a new um, effort exercise, part of the Lisa group of companies that's going to be dedicated specifically to charity, to helping people um, from uh, poor communities and disadvantages. In other words, people who are not in um, good circumstances, not living in good circumstances. So what actually happened is I ended up tracking my phone in uh, to this neighborhood in, in the um, All Boys Town area uh, on James Street and we actually found the neighborhood in which the phone was located, right? You can track this on um, your app on the iPhone, find my phone. And so I actually saw some of the houses and the um, tenements that these people are living in and the people who actually stole my phone are living among these um, people in the tenements and what it means is that you can't really walk into this neighborhood and look for your phone because you're going to be distribute you're going to be disturbing large a large community of people some of whom might be offended some of whom might be um, you know primed for violence and so what I decided to do is to let it go you know it's only a phone I can turn it off and instead what I'm going to do is launch a new initiative, my own personal initiative, to help people in this situation in Guyana so that they have opportunities, so they don't actually feel the need to go about stealing and robbing people, right? Because when you see the situation, it's really a, a question of poverty and, and lack of opportunity and, and lack of hope, right? Hopelessness that's giving rise to a crime situation in Georgetown. So part of my anti-crime initiative will be to create opportunities to create jobs and to create um, housing and um, learning that is educational opportunities for people living in uh, some of our most impoverished areas in the country and in the city all right now I have 20 companies that I'm working on already and this was only going to be um, 22 in fact 21 companies this is, will only be 2022 and part of the proceeds from the sale of merchandise on um, rnbrand.online is going to be dedicated, I'm going to dedicate 10% of the sales um, from uh, the merchandise on rnbrand.online to people who are living in poverty in Guyana. So if you want to help, you want to um, support this initiative, I'm going to be um, selling items, creating new items to add to the list, selling them on rnbrand.online and you can purchase those if you go to my website rnbrand.online and um, select the items you want to purchase process the payments online we're going to ship the items to you anywhere in the world and 
10% of whatever you um, spend on this website is going to be dedicated to the charity arm of Lisa Group, the Lisa Group of companies. So that's what's happening, guys. It's a tough situation living in Guyana right now, even in the face of oil and gas, but we can do things to change the situation, to help ourselves if we start taking advantage of and taking um, account of the people, taking responsibility for the people who are living around us. I finally got a wheelchair for one of the um, young ladies who was asking me to help her with the wheelchair for an entire year. This weekend we were able to, in fact last week we were able to deliver a wheelchair for her. I will be doing much more of that. I want to buy some motorized wheelchairs because as some people get older in life, you know, as, as disabled people get older, they're no longer able to push themselves around with these um, push wheelchairs. So one of the first things that we're going to set up um, is a system of either buying or renting these motorized wheelchairs. They're about $900 each. The proceeds from the sales of merchandise on Aaron Brand are online. Some of that will go towards purchasing motorized wheelchairs for some of our disabled residents here in Guyana. So that's what's up, guys. That's what's happening. If you want to see more content, like just click like and subscribe. In the comments below, tell me what you think about helping disabled citizens in Guyana and helping poor and um, disadvantaged people who are not yet seeing benefits from oil and gas in Guyana. Share this video with friends and family around the world. Let people know what's happening here in Georgetown, Guyana. Later!